Teddy Zane owns Flex Fitness in Irondale, a 30,000 square foot gym that's been shut down for weeks. He says he's applied for all available state and federal assistance programs with no luck. Now the bills are piling up and there is no money coming in. Every time somebody comes on TV and says this is what we're going to do for you, we don't hear it anymore. We don't, I don't even hear it anymore. I get more angry when I hear it because nothing's been done. Our task force um, advisory group did not say, state a date certain when you can just open up Alabama um, economy. Instead, we felt like we should be guided by safety precautions. And Zane says that's the problem. Health concerns are put ahead of economic issues. David Coots runs a small marketing company in Vestavia. So we're pretty much at a standstill at this point. You know, one of our biggest clients, we do uh, the Birmingham Bulls hockey team. The entire season got canceled, which that's a huge um, contract for us. Coots says it's a snowball effect. Most businesses depend on other businesses. So when one goes under, it affects them all. These small businesses, it, you're run, they're running out of time. The small business is running out of time and they've got to get open. In Irondale, Lisa Crane, WVTM 13.